Hey guys, good morning. Um, real early in the morning. Um, just kind of wanted to put out this video um, about connecting the body of Christ and kind of our purpose too. Um, so I mean, I'm just going to kind of Put it out there. So, if we're his hands, we need to be his hands. If we're his feet, we need to be his feet. If we're seeing seeing visions, we need to put them out there. If we're having dreams, we need to put them out there. Um, the body fitly framed together, but there's only one head. His name is Jesus. God and the Holy Ghost and of course his word so that's why the Bible says his, that, it, that, that the word would be a lamp under your feet light under your path so right now I'm just kind of trying to connect um the Lord just really, really laid a lot of stuff out on my heart to do. Um, and so I kind of need to connect with somebody that's really computer literate is where, where I'm at because he told me to do several things and, and I was like, man, yeah, God. Which was build a website do all the social media junk youtube instagram facebook twitter and who knows what <clears throat> and it's like man i'm just gonna say it guys i'm you know i don't even entirely text people i'm probably one of the few people in america that doesn't but it's like man a lot of that stuff just goes over my head it's doing you know so it's like god you Tell me to do this. Do you know who you're talking to? And then, um, just look at some of my videos. Look at the one about broken and contrite spirit. Um, or through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. That's a good one, too. Um, it'll just kind of shed some more light on this, where I'm coming from, where my heart is, guys. It's not, I don't, I don't want anything from you guys that you don't want to do. I just want to be, you know, I'm directional. I just want to, you know, whatever the Lord's laying on your heart. And it does come through prayer. I'll take every prayer you guys got. I'm reading this morning about one of the candidates for, for president, about the stupidity of saying he's tired of prayer and wants gun control and all this other garbage, you know. It's like, guys, do the math. You know, I'm older, but when I was a kid and prayer was still in school and the Bibles, wasn't on the news every day. Prayer is the answer, guys. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm coming from. So I'll take prayers, I'll take connection. Um, I answered a couple this is just an example, kind of where I'm at. Um, I answered a couple friend requests on Facebook, and my wife was like, don't do that. You know, a long time ago, she told me to do that. I'm like, man, I'm kind of new to this this stuff. And so I just, man, it blew up, guys. Almost 900, 900 friends and 800 plus requests. And uh, some really, really cool ministries all over the place and people doing things. So I'm a little, you know, borderline and, and even far out there too religious stuff too and it's like man god so i put that in prayer i'm like god what what do i do you know um so i'm constantly in prayer and so that's all i'm asking guys is just you know if, if, if that's what you feel led to do just pray um if not Email me at Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com. Um, if you're local in Dallas, let's kind of connect. Um, 
this is kind of just an example. I can't, it, you know, of course, you know, finances would be great, awesome, but I'm not, that's not what I'm, that's not where I'm at. Whatever the Lord tells you to do, just email me. Um, let's connect. Because it may be, you know, maybe I sew one into you guys. I don't, I, I, <clears throat> this website that we've created is to blog because not about me, but maybe, maybe this is just you too. This will just be a plug. Okay. He's got me right. I've already wrote two books and he's got told me to write a bunch more. And it's like, hang on, a little help here. Um, got him out. <clears throat> Long story, but I probably just, you know, I just need to sit down with, with, and get this stuff out. But maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's you too that need to be writing books too. AmazonKDP.com. Free. You just have to get it in their format. Which would I, well, a friend of mine, a friend of ours, it was Georgia 11. Long, complex story, but got it to him, didn't charge anything. It was kind of messy at first, and the Lord was like, just get it out there and then proof it. I proofed it like the last one four times. Um, you want a copy of it? I got an email copy version of it. It's I'll send it to you for free if you like it. Um, it's on Amazon. It's called one's called Jesus Christ in You, the Hope of Glory, and how we're His glory, and we all have a story, and we're His feet, and it's just time to rise and shine, guys, and be the glory of the Lord. There's so much to it, and that's all I want to do is just get all this, get this, get this out. Enough of the, you know, shrinking back and the nonsense that's going on all around us is where I'm at. So let's just connect, be part, you know. Um, like I said, there were some really cool ministries. Some of them, you know, kind of kind of broke my heart. One, one, one was, I forget the name, of, I forget the country and that, you know, Discounting anything that they that they're doing, it was like an orphanage, and it was like, man, they had said they haven't eaten in a week. It's like, man, we're here in America, and we kind of get mad if we don't eat every couple hours, or go to a, a restaurant and they have to have fourteen different kind of sauces and spices and just everything our way, and go to a restaurant if you don't get a waiter within three minutes, and you're ready to go. Rip the manager a new one because <clears throat> he didn't get serviced in nanoseconds. So there's just a lot of stuff, guys, that we got to kind of plow through. But you know, we're going to get it in prayer, seeking Him in a secret place, dwelling with the Most High God. So I'll take all your prayers. Um, this is kind of where I'm at, too. <clears throat> Um, year went by, year and a half. My wife just sat in prayer at our church a lot, like four, four times a week, five times a week, a lot. Sometimes I wouldn't even call her because I was like, man, it's, I never knew if she was even going to come home. And it didn't really matter because I knew she where she was. Hours, days. And then one day, connection came a lady that, that works at in the homeless ministry led to just a long story but it led to they just sit here do you want to do Sunday nights and everything was just handed to us guys just go buzz the door at the gate here to open it up open up the church there it is we minister whatever the Lord tells us to minister. We now have Sundays off. And it's a day of prayer, dedication, seeking the Lord before we go to prepare for this place, for these broken souls. And everything is free, guys. And it's a it's a nice church already set up. Somebody else cleans it. 
the PA systems there, um, heated, air conditioned, all the niceties and necessities, kind of, maybe, I don't know, came through prayer. My wife and I weren't even, hadn't even never been there, weren't knocking on the doors or nothing. So that's what I'm saying, guys. So let's pray, pray about it. Let's, let's connect. Maybe it's just to get your stories out there. Like I said, I got this blog page. It's on Jesus is Alive in America.com. Um, email me. Um, help us get out these books. Maybe write your own books. Maybe just, I don't know. Let's just connect. But right now, I could really use some technical help because there's just all these different things going on. And, and, and one of the big reasons why I'm pushing this out now is because I've had three and I keep having more. <clears throat> and it's not, just look at some of my videos. One about, you know, First Peter 2, I think it's 22. Um, but there's no secret revelation, no, you know, we all get them, guys. Different, maybe a little bit different. But it's all to edify the body. We need to rejoice in seeing others in the body move where God wants them to move and the ways that God wants to move and the things that he's doing and not trying to rip each other apart. Like the world does. So, let's just connect, guys. Um, right now, like I said, I really could use some computer help. Uh, I'm here in Dallas. You know, just email me. Let's just kind of do this. But I'm really trying to put all this stuff administratively kind of together or on the same page. But really, I guess I kind of got off track. But these dreams... <clears throat> It's about a storm coming to America, guys. <clears throat> and it's not just all this political mess. There's bunches of it. And all this <clears throat> other issues and shootings and just stuff. Not good stuff, guys. I get it. None of it. Some pretty horrific stuff. Even some horrific laws that got passed, you know, kind of shoved down our throats. Honestly. But... There's a storm coming to America, guys. And it's not for our destruction, but it's going to be a choosing time, guys. But it's coming. And, and December 1st is when the Lord told me to, to share this with everybody. But I need a little bit of help right now, guys, because I'm trying to, like... Okay, when, when I said, you know things the Lord showing me to do. Well, this is just personal, but kind of, but um, I don't know when it was. It, six months ago when I started, I went to the doctor and I was like, man, having some, some problems. Well, I, I had some strokes. Didn't realize it, but it, end result was a bunch of MRIs and just kind of, you know, not what you want to hear from the doctor, kind of jacked up, but, you know, half my brain kind of got wiped out. So I was like, I guess I don't need that, God. So, you know, it's a little, it's like, man, God, you're telling me to do these things and they, they require some, some some skills and some some things. It's like, so I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to, don't do it out of, you know, any kind of obligation. What I'm saying is, what's God telling you to do? What's your purpose? Let's kind of get together, connect, um, Many of y'all have some really, really cool stories about his glory, and that's what it's for. It's to spread it out there and to, sh and to set people free. And sometimes testimonies are, you know, testimonies are great and awesome. I've just learned over the years and just recently, actually, not too long ago, that, you know, your testimonies may be, Let's pray about who you're supposed to share them with. But let's get these stories out, guys. Let's get all this stuff out, and that's kind of where I'm at. I just <clears throat> want to organize, arrange. Um, 
I'm real big right now and trying to do a Bible, Bible, to get as many Bibles as I can because I want to get them out to the homeless people. I could use 50 a week, as honestly, easily. And I need large print. So yeah, some of it is a little bit in the financial area, you know. I mean, I, I'll just throw this out there, guys. I put out a, you know, the Lord told me to do this. I put a thing out on Facebook, a fundraising thing, and but a somewhere around a thousand bucks came in. Well, we, that's that's great. We've already used it, but we've put another three ourselves in, you know. So it's not like I'm gathering it for me. But then there's there's other sources too. There's one really good one that I use called Bible Gateway. Um, it's just, it's been helping me a lot. It's just search scriptures and find scriptures and just type in words. And it's a pretty, pretty good search tool for me, but I'm sure there's others that are out there, but I just like that one. But they have on there some ministry called Open Door and they're just, I think they were asking for a $7 donation, which is pretty cheap. To get Bibles to different places all over the world. Um, the one of the ministries on Facebook was Bibles for Pakistan. It's like, God, I just, that's where I'm at, guys. I'm just trying to, you know, this is my heart. I just want to try to get some of this stuff put together as best I can and connecting. And so let's connect. Um, I'm looking at doing some stuff online too and in the business realm that kind of try to help finance all this stuff too so that's not you know I'm not <clears throat> I'm not pulling for that whatever the Lord's telling you to do but let's just connect but make sure it's the Lord too make sure that you got it in your secret place make sure it's in prayer and dedication um because none of us can do it all guys by ourselves we got to have the, but it's time for the body to connect Prayer is very important, you know? So, I don't know if you can see this cup. Not really like a coffee cup, but it's just one of my favorite scriptures. Proverbs 3, 4, 5, and 6. I got a bunch of them, but, you know, I'm having, you know, it's been like 1 in the morning to Four in the morning. Four in the morning is great, guys, when the Lord wakes me up. Because that's like, man, I can, you know, get a couple hours of prayer in and, you know, start the day. And it's just, everything's pretty fresh. One, not so great. Tired. Pray. Man, go back to sleep some. Broken. Just kind of, man, God. But I can't, you know, that's just where I'm at right now. But my heart is to just connect with you guys. So, Jesus is alive in America. <clears throat> Google it. You'll see us all over the place. I'm trying to put all this stuff together. I don't even know how to do Twitter. It's blown up, kind of. Facebook has blown up on me. Um, and I don't want it to be all, all, you know, hodgepodge messy. And it is a little bit right now. Well, that's where I'm at. I need some... Somebody in the body to kind of say, hey, you know, help me connect with this, get all this technological stuff channeled in the right direction because the Lord has given me a lot of, a lot of stuff. And, and, and he is you too, guys. But so what's your, what's your role? You know, if you're the hand, be the good hand, be the best hand. If you're the foot, be the best foot. Quit trying to tell the hand, the hand and the foot what to do. And, you know, everybody wants to be the head. Nobody wants to be the body. It's time to be the body, guys. Arise and shine. And let's get our stories out there, guys. Let's share. Let's encourage each other. Let's lift each other up. Let's, you know. Of course, the world is spinning out of control pretty quickly. You know. Singers are barking that if you don't, you know. The one about the Salvation Army in Dallas, you know. Barking that if you don't, you know, cow down and bow down to... <clears throat> You can read between the lines, the story. But that's part of the storm coming, guys. To this country, and when you when you hear it, it'll make sense. 
It's but you know, I mean, there's just a lot going on. I'm not trying to politicize this either. This was on the internet this morning about how it's really hard on his family. And, you know, whether you like him, don't like him, voted for him, didn't vote for him, um, the president. Put this out December of 2018. Pray for Donald Trump, but pray for him as a man that he finds Jesus in all this mess. Whether he created it, somebody else created it, um, you know, all this stuff. But it's just time, guys, that we just, you know, portray the truth and stand up for what's right. And get prayer back at the center, get Jesus back at the center, get, you know, not all this hogwash stuff, even in the church. It's just kind of a lot of it's, you know, gotten out there, guys. Pretty basic, but let's just get our stories out there, guys. Good, godly, Holy Ghost, Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, stories for His glory, because we're His story and we're His glory, guys. So really, that's kind of where I'm going to end with this. Sorry, I mean, I was trying to make this short. This didn't work. But, so, we love you guys. Um, you know, maybe you can, you know, be the guy or the gal that helped me edit things. I'm going to throw this one last thing out there. If you're a, a, a lady and your name is Shirley, there it's really, really been highlighted. So um, contact us. So we love you guys. Um, thanks. Um, I'm going to kind of share this on all the medias. And like I said, I could really just use the connectivity. But maybe you can use the connectivity with us too. I mean, I don't know. There's just a lot going on, guys, and it's time for us to just rise and shine and kind of body fitly framed together. What's he telling you? So, let's pray about it. Um, Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com or Jesus is alive in America.com. And that's our Wix website, blog site. Um, kind of give us, you know, I, I don't know. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.